What started as it's time for Linux Mint to go quickly became Linux Mint should die. And then it became Linux is not your safe space. Well, that escalated quickly. Um, this is going to be a short video. Uh, I'm not doing the intro stuff. I just wanted to get this out there. Basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Tech Republic made a video, uh, made a, a, um, blog post. That's what it is. A, a news article. If you're, uh, partial to old timey, <laughs> Uh, terms. The name of that article was Scientific Linux and Antergos are shutting down. It's time for Linux Mint to go. Um, Antergos, uh, the the Arch-based distribution, and uh, and Scientific Linux, which was the Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, fork or, or rebuild or whatever you want to call it, um, both of those distros have shut down. And according to the author of that article, the uh, the author believes that Linux Mint should also shut down. The subtitle, Cinnamon, the popular open source desktop environment featured in uh, Linux Mint, makes more sense as a distribution agnostic package. Okay, fair enough. You know, I read through this article. I don't think that there was anything particularly wrong with what they were saying. You know, basically their thesis was that uh, Linux Mint uh, arrived in a time when it was hard to uh, uh, get flash set up on your, on your Linux system. And it was, uh, it was inconvenient to get MP3s set up. And so the reason that they, that the distro existed was so that, uh, it could have all the media codecs and all the flash and proprietary stuff that you would want at the time. And as the march of progress and the power of open source, uh, made such things more accessible to everybody, uh, well, the the distro has become irrelevant aside from the fact that cinnamon is a is a uh, rather nice and i haven't used it in a while but a rather nice desktop environment okay all right good great great article you know nothing nothing particularly wrong with that uh then distrotube uh, was talking about this article and distrotube said a couple things and not the least of which was uh linux mint should die in the title of the video and i mean then he published the uh, another video after that called Linux the Linux community is not your safe space and to be frank he was complaining that people were calling him a Linux mint hater the fact is man you said Linux mint should die in the title of your video i don't know what else you expect people to get like most people don't actually watch the video <laughs> most people only see the title and so they're going to react to the title and not the video content. That's just how it works on the internet, man. That's one of the reasons that I've like changed how I've been titling my videos recently because I want people to actually watch the video and not just see the title and get impressions. I want actual people to watch my videos, to hear what I have to say, to pay attention. And that's why I also say in my, vi in my videos, guess what? We're going to have a civil conversation. Uh, you're welcome to leave a comment, but don't be an asshole in the comments. That's why I say what that in my videos now, because I'm trying to foster a conversation and have people watch the video the whole way through so they can understand my argument. And look, I'm not throwing shade, Derek. Like if you're watching this video right now, or if you're a fan of DistroTube, which I am, I very much am a fan of DistroTube. I watch most of his videos. I really enjoy his content. I am not throwing shade at Derek. I am not saying that DistroTube is wrong for, for how he feels because he's not. But what I'm trying to do is, is share some of what I've learned. And I just want you to know that I'm not attacking Derek at all. I'm also not trying to call him out for using clickbait because Lord knows I have used clickbait in the past. And I, some people still say that I use clickbait. I don't think that I do. There's a, there's a long discussion we could have about clickbait. I don't know what to think about all this because, you know, on the one hand, the article from Tech Republic actually kind of made a, a valid case uh, for for making Cinnamon the Linux Mint team's primary focus. But at the same time, most of the people that I know who use Linux started on Mint. And it's like most of the people that I have like told about Linux and have been like, hey, you got to check out Linux. Linux is so cool, right? They, they go and do their own research and they, they look through their, uh, you know, they, they look at a bunch of different options. Most of them are Ubuntu based, right? Most people look at Ubuntu and they look at uh, elementary and they look at Linux Mint. And those are like three major players, right? They're huge distributions. 
And they're the ones that most of the beginners that I know have taken a look at. And most of the people that I have helped move over to Linux have made their own mind up about wanting to use Linux Mint for many reasons. Cinnamon is a very Linux beginner friendly uh, desktop environment. It really is. So the fact that like all these guys are saying, oh man, Linux Mint should just not be a thing. You know, I think that a, a custom desktop environment is more than enough of a reason for a Linux distribution to exist. There's many, many reasons for Linux distributions to exist and to just have a, a, a custom desktop environment. I think that that's a perfectly legitimate reason, um, especially when you, you know, are maintaining basically that and you're pulling everything else from the upstream. Why not? Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, Linux Mint's had a bunch of, like, issues with security and stuff, and it's like, okay, fine. But at the same time, it is, it's a beginner-friendly distribution, and I think we would be, as a community, as a community of people who are hoping to grow and, and to welcome new users, I think we'd be worse off as a community if Linux Mint were to go away. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to know what you guys think about this because honestly, I I'm not sure. <laughs> I thought that the trajectory of the clickbait titles kind of went off the scale. Um, not calling DistroTube out or anything. I'm just, you know, that's my opinion. Um, and I'm sure, you know, he's not the kind of guy who's gonna get butt hurt about me saying that either. What do you guys think about Linux Mint? Uh, I'd love to know what you think. Do you think it should be its own distribution? Do you think they should just focus on Cinnamon? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link down below, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer, and as always, thanks for watching.